Hello everyone. This is a lecture number 20 of the lecture series of Naval Architecture made for MEO examination. In this lecture, we are going to discuss transfer stability of the ship. Specifically, I am going to cover angle of lull, difference between angle of lull and angle of list. We are going to see how to take the remedial action to reduce the angle of load. In the earlier classes, we have discussed the stability of the ship. We have seen if the GM is positive, the ship will come back to its original position. That type of a ship we will call as a stable ship. Then we have seen if the GM is negative, it means G is above the metal center. If this is the condition, we will call it as a ship is becomes unstable condition. Ship will not come back to its original position. In today's class, we will see if the initial GM is a negative, what are the things will happen that all the things we are going to discuss in today's class. Let's consider the ship is at a zero degree inclination. We will call it as the ship is in the upright condition. And the center of buoyancy is the centroid of the underwater volume that will be B in this case. M is the metal center and G is the center of gravity. Initial metacentric height is a negative. Now because of an external agency like a wind or wave from the port side, there will be a healing movement is going to generate towards the starboard side and ship is going to incline or you can say healed towards the starboard side. Let's consider that the ship is inclined at the angle 5 degree. So when the ship is healed towards the starboard side 5 degree, there will be an increment in the volume towards the starboard side. So the overall centroid of the underwater volume will be shifted towards the starboard side. Let's call the center of buoyancy B1. So at this angle, the buoyant force is going to act through the new center of buoyancy B1 and the line of action of the buoyant force will intersect the center line that point is a meta center. So what I am doing now, I am extending the same line further and putting the perpendicular from the G on the line of action. That perpendicular we will call as a GZ, that GZ we will call as a lever. Now at this instant, when the ship is there at a 5 degree, if you take the movement about the G, whatever the movement is generating, that will be in the same direction of the healing movement. So this type of a movement we will call as a capsizing movement. Ship is going to further incline toward the starboard side. So that movement is called as a capsizing movement. Now when the ship is healed further, let's consider the theta is 15 degree. So at this angle, the overall centroid of the underwater volume is shifted further toward the starboard side. The reason is increment in the volume toward the starboard side is more. The line of action of the buoyant force now passing through the B2 and that will intersect the center line somewhere that point is called as a meta center. So at this angle G, M and Z both are lying at the same point. So G, M also 0 and the G, Z also 0. So because of this there won't be any movement going to generate about the G. But because of some momentum, the ship is further inclined towards the starboard side. And the ship is reached at the angle, for example, 20 degree. So at this angle, the center of buoyancy further shifted towards the starboard side, let's call it the B3. So the line of action of the buoyant force passing through the B3 and that will intersect the center line somewhere that intersection point we will call as a meta center. So at this instant the GM becomes a positive for only for the instant. 
so because of this there will be a writing movement generated towards the port side and ship will try to come back to its original position but when it is coming towards the original position it will pass from 20 degree to 15 degree when the ship is coming to 15 degree you will find that the center of buoyancy is shifting from B3 to B2 the B2 is just lying below the center of gravity there won't be any movement is going to generate but if the writing movement which is generated at the theta 20 degree if it is more so ship will come back to uh, at a 5 degree when the ship is coming at a 5 degree there will be a capsizing movement is going to generate and ship will further move towards the theta 15 degree then again 20 degree so like this ship is going to oscillate from 5 degree to 15 degree from 15 degree to 20 degree again it is try to move from 20 degree to 15 degree 15 degree to 5 degree like this a ship is going to oscillate about uh, the theta 15 degree and this angle theta is equal to 15 degree you can see that the gz is zero so this angle we will call as a angle of load so at the angle of load gz becomes a zero now think about uh, one more condition if the ship started inclining from zero degree to 5 degree then 15 degree then 20 degree now consider that if there is a, a wave loads acting on the ship from the starboard side if the wave load is too much and because of that wave load there might be chances that ship will go and the ship will go and it will go towards the port side and at the port side the same thing will happen which we have seen just now at the starboard side so ship will flip flop from the starboard side to port side and it will start oscillating at the port side same thing from the port side 5 degree 15 degree 20 degree again it is coming back from 20 degree 15 degree 5 degree if the force which is coming from the port side is very high then ship will come back to again towards the starboard side and again the ship is going to oscillate above the 15 degree so this whole thing is happen in case of an angle of load let me summarize once again for the angle of load the initial gm should be negative and at the angle of load gz becomes a zero so if you want to draw the statical stability curve including this angle of load how it will look like so this is the a statical stability curve where on x axis you have a healing angle in a degrees and in a y axis you have a gz that is a writing lever so you can see here when the ship is there at a zero degree there won't be any gz so gz is zero then as the healing angle increases the gz becomes negative in the starting period in our example that was up to 15 degree at 15 degree you found that a gz is a zero after the 15 degree you will get a gz is a positive so this point is called as the angle of a heel so in this case the angle of heel is coming 18 degree now for the ship to become a, a stable these are the general values for the all so for the general cargo ship the range of the gm the fully loaded condition from starting from 0.3 to 0.5 oil tankers to vlcc it is from 0.3 to 1 meter for the container ship it is 1.5 meter approximately for the Roro vessel it is 1.5 meter approximately bulk ore carriers it is a 2 to 3 meter approximately now suppose if you want to find out the in initial gm value which is obviously it is a negative if you want to find out from this uh, uh, graph how to get this value if you do this calculation all the things in a proper scale 
with the help of a graph paper you will get uh, the initial gm value directly from the graph so how to calculate that so put the tangent at a zero degree to this curve like this this curve the tangent is drawn here and at a one radian at a one radian one radian means it is a 180 by pi so 180 by pi means 3.14 approximately it will get a 57.3 degree so on the x axis you have a healing angle so at some point you will get this 57.3 from here you just draw the perpendicular like this so this distance you can call as a the gm and this is at the obviously at the negative side so this gm is a negative so this is the negative gm now we will see what is the difference between angle of list and the angle of load to understand this concept think that uh, there is a one ship and it is inclined towards the starboard side now if i ask what will be the remedial action to bring back the ship to the upright condition so when you are going to take the remedial action you have to see first what is the value of a gm what is the sign of a gm whether it is a positive or the negative why i am saying this if you see the sign of a gm through the lodicator if you found that a gm is a positive if the gm is positive and you found that the ship is inclined towards the starboard side then you can distribute the load or the cargo along the transverse direction so the center of gravity of the whole ship will come back to the center line and the ship will come back to the upright condition but if you found that the gm is a negative in the lodicator so don't try to shift the cargo along the transverse direction why i am saying because whatever the inclination you have seen in your ship towards the starboard side it is not due to the more cargo towards the starboard side it is because the gm is a negative so if you want to take the remedial action to bring back the ship to the upright condition you have to lower down the cargo so that the center of gravity will come down and once the center of gravity is coming below the meta center once the gm is positive automatically ship will come back to the upright condition so this is a very very important thing that you have to understand the difference between the angle of list and the angle of load so don't take any remedial action without knowing the sign of a gm i hope all of you understood uh, whatever the things uh, i have discussed thank you very much